For He's my God and His name is Yahweh. Hello, guys. My name is Julie. This is Jill, and I came here. Yes, that's the name. For more Kenyans, they bring for. That's my name. But you can call me Kenny anyway. So. <laughs> If you are new here, you are welcome to this YouTube channel. You are highly welcome. Yes, you are welcome. So on this channel, we discuss on lifestyle challenges and spirituality. And when I'm saying spirituality, I'm talking about love, hope, trust, and stuff, various stuff like that. So we'll be discussing them on this channel. So I hope you that you are new here, hope that you will join me in this journey and make it a worthwhile one. God bless you. Thank you a lot. So, for my fellow, my fellow, my fellow YouTubers, I'll be able to with it. For my fellow YouTubers, <laughs> <laughs> I have this video for you. So, it's just a video. I actually want to discuss a little. Bit. A video was requested, and I'm going to do it as well. Now, I'll be discussing on overcoming challenges. If you have not watched the video I made on reasons why we face challenges, you need to go and watch it. Yes. Because if you don't watch it, I don't think this one will be meaningful to you. So, please and please go back and watch it too. You need to watch purpose. In order for you to fulfill destiny in life, I said we need a manual. And what is our manual? Whatever cross you carry is your manual. So, if you have not watched that one too, please go back and watch them. God bless you. Yeah, just like I said, I'll be discussing overcoming challenges today. Well, in my previous videos, I've talked about challenges, I've talked about the reasons why we face challenges. Now, how can we overcome them? How can we overcome them? Please and please, firstly, if you are going through anything, let people beside you let them know. People that are very close to you, let them know. Don't say they will criticize me. Criticism is meant for human beings, it's not meant for animals. Fine, they will criticize you, but at least you still need to let them know. So, if you are passing through anything in life, call your friends. If you have trustworthy friends, call them. Let them know. Maybe they will, they will, they will be the ones to help you find solutions to the problem you don't know. They will be the ones to help you find solutions to the challenges you don't know. So don't keep it to yourself. Don't die in silence. That's my advice. Don't die in silence. In order for you to fulfill your destiny in life, I believe that we need each other. We need the help of each other. So, why don't you just call your friends and tell them. Call your parents. If you have parents, call your parents. Make your parents your friends. Make them your friends. Let them know what you are passing through. Don't die in silence. And if you don't have a parent you can tell, then call your friends. Seek people's advice. So I'll be talking about those things here in this video today. So please relax. Well, let me see. Let me see before we start talking on that. Please, I need you to sit down. Yes, relax and watch. <laughs> Make sure you watch to the end, though. Make sure you watch to the end. God bless you. So, firstly, if you want to overcome your challenges in life, you need God. In everything you are passing through you need God do you know who God is yes I like that question like are you somebody that know God do you know that God exists because some people when they are faced with challenges they tend to move away from the let me say they tend to move away from believing that God exists because they be like if God exists then why am I facing these challenges yes why am I passing through this kind of stressful challenges no don't have that mentality. Stop it. It can destroy you. So you need to know that God exists. That's my first point. If you don't believe in God, then your challenges return to your problem. And in my previous video, I made us to understand that challenges they are meant for our good. Challenges they are our builder. They build us. They mold us. So you don't need um, you don't need to be carrying the mentality that God does not exist. Please have it at the back of your mind that God exists. Please believe that God exists. My God is indescribable. His name is a hallowed in the farmerman. Now, secondly, you must learn to embrace your pains. Learn to embrace them. Some of us, when we are passing through challenges, we see them as um, problems. I said in my previous video that. 
there are no problems learn to embrace your your pains see one thing that one thing i've learned from that day is that whenever he's passing through any challenges he never shows in his face another will leave he never shows in his face it's always like whenever he's coming home it's always like my children my children we even buy something for us we, we don't know anything we eat it we collect and eat it merriment we don't know what that is passing through outside so i've learned that over the years that we should always learn to embrace our pain learn to embrace your pain they are building you up for a gain yes at the end of pain there's a gain at the end of pain, there is always a gain, something to gain. So I've learned that one from that day. Whenever it's passing through challenges, you will never see it in his face. But it is after that is when we now know that something like this happened. And I'll be like, wow, wow. We will not know. We'll be smiling with you. So please and please. During that, during that process, I've learned a lot from him. And from that I've learned to from that I've learned to always embrace my pain. Please learn to embrace your pain. If you cannot persevere during difficult time, if you cannot persevere when you are passing through something small, it will be so hard for you to persevere when you are passing through something big. Please and please embrace, learn to embrace your pains. They are building you for a gain. So perseverance and perseverance and how will I say it? Perseverance and endurance, they work hand in hand. They work hand in hand. You need that. You need that. So, the first one I said, know God. Yes, if you know God, then you will know that you have to put Him first in front of every one of your battles. You cannot fight them by your own strength. You cannot use your own manpower to fight them. You are deceiving yourself. So, please and please, know God. should always embrace your pain embrace embrace them and endure whenever you are passing through any challenges don't see it as a kind of punishment see it as a kind of a challenging situation that is actually looking for your inner strength yes a challenge that is actually requiring you bringing out your inner strength out so please please and please learn to embrace and endure your pain they are just for a while and they will pass that's one thing i've learned over the years so and the next one is trust hope and faith in god the next one is trust hope and faith in god please and please if you must stand the test of time if you must stand the test of time you need to have faith in god trust him have hope if your faith is not in alignment with god then there's no result you know and trust they are attached to faith hope and trust they are attached to faith so please and please learn to put your faith your hope your trust in god if you don't anything you don't have faith in you can never believe it you can never have trust in it you can never like you can never have hope in it so please and please learn to trust god no matter the circumstances you are passing through learn to trust him learn to trust him till the end Learn to have open in. It's just for a while. It will surely pass. It's on my heart. Let my worship begin, but never. Then my next point is that you should always have a success mentality. Some people, whenever they are passing through challenges, they tend to always think that is the end for them. No. Well, let me say over the years I've learned that after challenges, there's always a success. There's always a victory. Yes, after battle. There's always a victory at the end. So please and please, please and please, I'm begging you. Have success mentality. If you don't have success mentality, whether you know God or you don't know God, when you are faced with challenges, you will turn into a problem. So please and please, please and please, like I'm begging you, I'm really, really begging you. Have success mentality that yes, I'm going to places. Yes, I'm becoming somebody good in future. Yes, I'm becoming somebody great in future with the help of God. Please and please, you need that in order for you, in order for you to stand the test of time, or your love, your faith, your hope, your trust in God to stand the test of time. You you need to have success mentality. Please and please, have success mentality. That helps a lot. So that's.
just dance about success mentality make sure you have a very good success mentality if you don't have that see it's nothing nothing no gay i'll be waiting you gay after all the stress you pass through you are not having one kind of silly mentality no it won't work for you that way so you need to truly have success mentality yes you should know that hmm, mentality of failure is not permitted and eh? failure mentality is never permitted in this kind of kingdom <laughs> so please and please have success mentality so that's that <laughs> is please if you need help please ask some people they die in silence because they are so scared they are so afraid of i don't know what this person will tell me if i ended up opening up to this person i don't know what the person might end up doing to me i don't know it might end up criticizing me it might end up mocking me it might he or she might end up like he or she might end up making jest of me you don't need that please you don't need that just leave that one for god if you have people like that give them to god please locate people locate people that you can open up to if you can open up to anybody else open up to god yes if you need help ask open up don't die in silence i'm telling you now don't die in silence locate people that that will help you in time of your in that, in that situation that you are looking to find people that can help you please and please that's the the money i have that i am borrowing <laughs> what's the money boy are you here you say what's the money boy are you here well that's the money i have i am borrowing you so please and please okay people here's a pass of all i'm through space and time our god is in this crowd energy advice yes seek their advices this one i've learned it over the years that you cannot do anything with your age by your strength by your age what do you know even when you're back over always says that tomodi bani asho to agba kulena kisa biagba which is correct have you ever used up to the clothes an adult has used in the past in their life in their past life yes you can have like the amount of clothes they have but you can never have rag fit them but <laughs> go competition you can never have rag like them so please open up to people who can help you then my next point is that please seek advice from elderly people see those elders they are so full of wisdom they are so full of wisdom they are words there in their head and you need it Open up to them, seek advice from them. Okay, if you are in this kind of situation, what are you going to do? Go to them, ask them. Don't if you don't want them to know that you are the one passing through it, you can use time now, use method, ask them. Maybe your friend, one of your friends needs a uh, sure you get, then they will open up to you, they will tell you the, the steps you must pass through, they will tell you the, the solutions, they will tell you how you will apply them, and then you now go back to your own to your own corner. Then think about it. Think about what they have told you. Think about everything. See it. Bring out the best out of those words. Bring out the best out of them. See, whenever I'm facing any challenges in life, that is what I do. I meet people that are older than me. If I don't want them to know that I'm the one, it is me gone gone. I'll just use time. So you too, why don't you use time? Pray that God will help you and God will help me too. I'm going to wear me to Amen. <laughs>
you don't need to torture yourself that one is already gone let, let, let's go of the past in order for you to have peace of mind in order for you to move on fulfill your destiny in life you need to let let go of the past if you're always hanging around your past you can never move forward so simple <laughs> it's so simple like that if you're always like if you're always hanging hanging around your past if you're always hanging around it you can never move forward you need to let go of the past let go of your past so that you find something worth doing in the present are you getting it because one thing i've realized is that the, the moment i start thinking about my past the moment i won't be able to do anything in my present let me use that word the moment i start thinking about my past the moment i will not be able to do anything to accomplish anything in my present situation so please and please let go of your past let it go bygone is bygone you don't need to hold on to it you don't need it like seriously you don't need it <laughs> i don't know how it's doing today but you don't need it seriously you don't need it let's go stop torturing yourself eh don't kill yourself young please don't die in silence stop showing yourself you say because eh your friends because your mates you are you are no longer in the same let me use caliber so you now feel like you now you differentiate yourself from them yes you move aside from them no move close to them fine they might not be able to help you some of them might not be able to help you yes i know very sure some might be the one to actually make jest of you some might be there to just mock you you don't need that out of whatever they want to say something good will still come out of it so please and um, please move close to them move close to people that will help you Stop moving with people that will always, always like, always want to destroy the plan, the purpose of God for your life. Please, if you have not watched my video, the one I make on purpose, you need to go and watch it. Discovering purpose, please, you need, you need to watch it. I like to say, in whatever situation you find yourself, in whatever challenges you find yourself, please and um, please, before you take any bad step. Before you take any silly step, think of your future. Hmm. It really matters. Think of your future as well. Yes, think of the end. Okay, if I do this thing now, where will it end? If I do this thing now, if I take this step now, what is going to be my outcome? You need to actually think of them. You can't just jump into something without thinking of what will the results be. So please and please think of your future. Think of your future. With this, I have come to the end of this video. Please and please make sure you subscribe. I need plenty subscribers. Please and please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe, please. I beg you in the name of God. Subscribe. Subscribe. God bless you. Then if you have any video in mind or if you have anything in mind you want to you want us to discuss, please DM me, inbox me. <laughs> so well, in a nutshell, let me see. I want you to always make your way pleasant before God. Make your way, let it always be pleasant before God. If you can if you want to overcome anything in life. Let your ways be aligned with God. So, you know now, as they say that all things work together for the good of those who love God. Those who are called according to his purpose. That's why I said if you have not watched purpose the other time, you need to actually go and watch it. Yes, you need that. You need to go and watch it. And you need to go and watch the reasons why we face challenges. Please, go and watch them. It's for your good. So, please subscribe as in you need to subscribe ah, why will you not subscribe now you watch something like this and you will not subscribe i will fight you i will fight you i'm warning you i will fight you <laughs> so please subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you subscribe subscribe well, why am i shouting subscribe well you because you need to subscribe so subscribe and if this video if it has helped you in one way or the other you need to share with your friends don't keep something good like this with yourself now 
we'll keep it share with your friends so i'm gonna see you in my next video ah so you'll be in the camera <laughs> let me see i'm going to be seeing you the next time when we see bye so from the pages of my heart let my